is up everybody and welcome back to another episode of Madden 19 not top 10 plays in a week oh nice interception not so nice lateral that's gonna be an illegal forward pass off the helmet of his own teammate and the more perplexing part about this play is going to be the penalty that's in forts afterwards. First of all, it shouldn't be a goal-to-go situation for the Eagles. Second of all, goal-to-go situation at your own one-yard line? Oh, uh, good luck even getting a field goal, let alone a touchdown there. As we go to play number nine, lose change. It's the last play of the game, a meaningless two-point conversion, and Michael Vick, in an attempt to try to get in the end zone, spins into a big hit, and the ball is on the ground for anybody to recover. If they want to recover it, the Browns seemingly just have no interest in picking up this ball they've given up since the game is over. Even though they're dogpiling, somehow none of them pick up the ball at the end. That's a successful two-point conversion. As we go to play number eight, Michael Thomas is going to get wide open here. But for some reason, he decides to do his best Steph Curry. And instead, he's more like Steph Worry, fumbling the ball. No touchdown on the play. Instead, Steve Atwater is there to force the fumble and get the fumble recovered. Come on, Mike, you know better than that. As we go to play number seven, Beamer, Benz, or Benley. It's going to be some nice user defense here by Benley in the middle of the field, and he should come up with the interception. Instead, he actually kicks the ball to the 49ers, and that is a touchdown on the play. As we go to play number six, Michael Dixon, as quickly as the play starts, it finishes on the fake punt pass attempt. Well, he goes out of bounds, Dan Orlovsky-esque, and that's going to be a safety. As we go to the honorable mention of the week, which is going to be another one of these fantastic yet very odd safeties on the kickoff. That seems to only happen in solo challenges or solo battles, I suppose. I don't, I don't know, man. I, good luck trying to figure out that. Like, the Madden devs can't even figure out what's wrong there. As we go to play number five, look at the ball lost in orbit. Cameron Bray trying to locate this ball. I mean, you can't really blame him for not getting a hold of it or any of the Falcons because... That ball is playing hard to get as we go to play number four. This is a play action pass, but for some reason, Patrick Mahomes takes matters into his own hands and Showtime gets shut down, fumbles the ball, and Joiner's on top of it. As we go to play number three, may peace be without you, Tyree Kill. This is a touchback. You can do this as long as you get down. Oh, but he gets down with the help of a Pittsburgh Steeler fumble and recovery. Steelers touch down and he loses his 3-0 lead as we go to double overtime in play number two to reek Owen trying to field the ball that is loose and this will end the game it's a game losing safety in overtime of a moth punt oh my heart as we go to the number one play of the week what are you doing why are you sabotaging the return but don't worry it's still gonna be a touchback as long as you don't continue to taunt until you fumble the ball and that's gonna be a safety oh my oh my <laughs> leave a like on the video if you guys got a good laugh out of this week's not top 10 plays of the week subscribe for more mad 19 top 10 and not top 10 plays of the week thank you guys for submitting your clips as always and supporting the series and i will catch you guys next time